Okay, and since we've finished that off, let's go ahead and go down here and give him the quest reward. Hey, I've taken care of it. Thank you. Glad to be of help. We got some more reputation. We don't have the... Oh, we actually got... We got the inventory bag I was mentioning. Ah, sweet. So we have that working for us. We need to go ahead and sell some of this gear bosh. Was that better than what we had? Mm, defensive ability. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with it. Why not? We don't need the rest of that. I don't think we need that. We will go ahead and move the stuff for our gear off. We've got access to you. And as we start moving up in our reputation, we'll get different things that we can gain access to. There is a thing that we can eventually get from this guy up here if we farm it up properly is to get the Mandate of Devil's Crossing. I don't currently have access to that even on my level 75 character, so we might start including those on these characters just to make life easier so we can access more stuff, but it's not super necessary, I don't think. So that is going to go there because we're going to be using it, and we're going to go ahead and transfer these over into our last bag. It'll always go into our last bag for those. Because they are going to be things that we just keep carrying around with us. Whereas our main bag is going to be more for, well, just the junk we're going to pick up and sell. So yeah, we've got plenty of these. We can't really use too many of them. We could use like Roiling Blood and stuff like that to boost our damage. Don't really need it right now. Don't want to waste it completely. We have a lot of it, but even at the same time, I feel like that's just being wasteful. So, sell all of this garbage. And since we're not transferring stuff, and it's going to be low-level stuff anyway. So, we're tolerated. We're at, we need 1,500, I mean, sorry. How much is that? 900 more to actually get that up? So, let's go. Oh, we actually have another quest here. Ooh, I, I will talk to you. Good. Hi. One of my scouts How can I help? How do I get to Burwich? I'm ready. Close. Yay. So secure the back portal in Burwich Village. What's funny is I've done that before talking to him before. <laughs> in like the test runs and stuff like that. It's very strange. So we will go up here and we'll we'll clear out the white mire. And get these other hunts done. For posterity's sake. Oh, did they do they respawn after a period of time? Or did we just Oh, we didn't come this way. We came from below. So we need to clear out the white mire to actually get all that stuff done. So where is the next guy? I, I'm waiting for the star to show up on the map, because that's usually a good indicator of where they are, because, well, that's what the stars are for. We also have a shop up here somewhere. I think we have to give him Silith amulets, if I remember correctly. Hi, my guy. You have a deal. He wants three of them. Okay, so we can go get a third one relatively soon. And we also have things for sale in the shop here. It doesn't look like anything too good for us. We got some two-handed things. They're all lower damage, though. And, yeah, that's the last thing we want to do is go lower damage. So, oh, we can just buy junk. Sweet. We don't need to buy junk. We can buy stuff back as well. And sorry if there's any, like, stuttering. I have tried to even out the use on the various nonsense here, but it does take some time. It's not perfect. Hey, you are a matriarch. Okay, that's fine. You're dead. You are dead, ma'am. Resistant of Psyche. Yeah, we'll take it for sales. Obviously, I'm going to be getting a lot of the rings and stuff because, well, they seem to sell pretty nicely. And they only take up one slot, so I can carry a bunch of them. They're not necessarily the best things ever, but I can live with it. And we are basically going just pure on, just shockwave guy. And that's Foggy Bank. I don't think we necessarily want to be here yet. I mean, we can. It's not a big deal. These guys are not that big of a threat. And we're going to probably be going faster with other characters as well. Just because they are going to be deadlier and bigger. Well, not necessarily bigger, but bigger AoEs and more spell-based damage rather than weapon-based damage. So... Works out fine for me. And we also have a underground passage there. There's our third Silith necklace, so we could actually go turn that in real quick. Yay! And yes, you can sell those Silith ne necklaces to merchants as well for a bit of money. So if you end up with, like, extras or something like that, it's not a huge deal. So down we go. Let's go turn those into them. That'll give us... And add 100 iron bits... Oh... 
deliver them and 100 iron bits. We have plenty of bits, I think. Yeah, we got almost 8,000. Do you have necklaces? Okay, yes. Uh, there is raw power in these bones. Uh, okay. Let's finish the ring for us shortly. Thank you. What is the ring that we got? Uh, charge. Oh, never mind. There it is. So it's primal ring plus 10% damage to beast skin, a bunch of resists, and increases energy regeneration by 10%. I think we'll use that instead of that one. I'm not sure if that's better or worse. We're not doing any lightning or any damage like that. It does change our physique, but I think we'll be fine with that. Yeah, we're fine with that. So, we have better resists. I, I generally, in this game, I know that resists are super important. So, we are going to be focusing on getting them up as much as we can. So, let's go into here real quick. This is probably going to be another little just bit of resources, I hope. Or is this a... Oh, no, that's another one of those things where we beat out a group of enemies. Okay. I can deal with that. There's our level 12. That's going to get us more points into doing damage. Doing all the dangage. Uh, there's a food ration. Not that I need it yet. We will need it in the future, I guess. Let's see. Hey, ruined bone. Would you like a ruined bone? Okay. So we leveled up. Let's go ahead and get... I'm going to get some more cunning. We're going to do physique and cunning, but... Skill-wise... That is three additional points to get up to it, so we could go for that. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and rush up to that. We'll get one point in that, and then we'll start kind of just stacking into all three of those, as well as some passives. I don't know if we're going to rush up to get to some of these, like, really end things, like Counter-Strike and stuff like that. But that probably would not be bad if we actually got some retaliation damage going for us. I mean, we've had worse things. We've done dumber things in games. We've literally played a run on Diablo 2 called Stupid Builds. So if we can do that in Diablo, we can do that in Grim Dawn. And is there anything down here for us to grab? Nope, there's a dude saying don't go into this pit, though. Because he's all skulls. And I don't think this really leads anywhere other than just giving us access to that little challenge thing there. Don't need the ancient tunic. Don't need him. He's going to give us some... Ooh, bits. Yes. Ooh, biddies. I'll take some biddies. Solid club is a one-hander, I think. Yeah, one-handed mace. Meh. Wish there was a way to change the item colors to so I could actually make them more familiar to me. That's one thing that a lot of games do is they'll change up the colors to get their own distinct thing, and it's just like, this is confusing to me. So let's get these guys. Oh, I think I've been here before. This seems familiar. I think we did this in the first strike for Grim Dawn. The one we recently did on the first strike channel. I'm not sure, though. Let's go ahead and smash you. Hi, giant boar elephant thing. Yep. Oh, whoa, whoa, game. No, what the hell was that? It just completely stopped for a second there. That was... That was rough. And they are making me fumble, I think, is what that was saying. I think that was me that fumbled. So we've got two guys with stars. I am not liking these guys being so resistant to me. I need to probably get up to that bleed like yesterday. Because <laughs> I think bleed would actually help us with these. There you go. Get murdered. Get wrecked. Yeah, they are they are draining my resources there. There's one hero killed. Almost have this next one. Yeah, it was the big guy that was doing most of the damage, I think. Vital Essence, Vital Essence. I think Vital Essences are... Yeah, I think Vital Essences are just ways to restore that yellow thing. So we got a bunch of green on this. We also got a Revolver. Which is not something I care about. It's a one-handed. That's a magic helmet. That is a one-handed range. That's a magic belt. That's not better than what we have. 
That does not look like a one-handed mace, but we'll we'll believe it for now. So we'll take the... Oh, we have a better helmet here, I think. So 20 with plus 7 offensive. This one's plus 34. Yeah, that's just straight better than the yellow one. Third company revolver can just go away. Shield is going to be sold, probably. It doesn't say how much it's worth. That's one thing that some other games have done fairly well. Is they'll tell you what it's worth before you can go and equip it. Let's see. That's going to be... It doesn't boost our physique as much, and it doesn't boost our offensive ability, but it increases our physical damage by a percent. I don't know which one's better. We're going to try this one. Chaos damage and cunning. Elemental damage and casting speed. Lightning damage, aether damage, elemental resistance. Elemental resistance might be nice. I don't mind the increased attack speed that we have on that, though. So yeah, that just boosts our resistances and stuff. I guess we'll go with that. Yeah, neither of those are going to be better. Copper ring's not better. Does give us health regen, though, which would be kind of nicer than mana regen, but I like having the offensive ability. Up the, up the. We could probably get a necklace to equip besides the bag of salt. Do we need more salt? No, this we are on the internet. There is never a need for more salt. Oh, and it's another devotion thing. We didn't even actually use the last devotion thing we got. We'll use it in a minute. I'm going to take down their little friends. That was the one I think we actually have to fight in, if i reading it correctly. Kick him over. Silith Tongue of Decay. It's a one-handed weapon. We'll take it anyway just to sell. And that is a food thing there that we can use to restore our yellow. Which we'll use after we deal with the big nonsense. We'll just pop these guys for their resources beforehand. Ooh, combat pants. Would you like some combat pants? Don't need any of those. Okay. So let's try and clear this. Hopefully we can do it alright. Start the cleansing. Are these guys going to be as tough as the last pack? They could be. They could very well be. Especially considering how little damage we do. Um, nah, we're not actually doing that terrible of damage. They were actually not that hard. Okay. So, skills, devotion. We actually have access to some devotion things. So as far as what we want to go in on, we can get defensive ability up and we'll eventually get the Targo's Hammer. We could go on this one, which is a Shepherd's Call, which boosts all pets. Not really interested in that. Uh, let's go with a Trauma. What has some trauma on it? This has trauma. This increases physical damage, physical damage and armor. Internal trauma with damage with 30% increased duration and plus a defensive ability and additional armor and internal trauma damage. So I think we'll go with the hammer and that'll give us some points to actually maybe move on to something else. Or we can go down the owl and go grab this. Requires a start earlier in the constellation. Yeah, we have to start there and go down. Elemental resistance and skill energy cost, and then we have a 50% increase with 20% increase in duration. So, and that's bleeding trauma. It doesn't boost physical, but we'll go on this one first. Let's go physical damage and internal trauma damage, and then we'll go after that one next so we complete that so we get more. I haven't planned out my devotion tree. That is just a lot of craziness to me because that's a lot of things to go through. So, I think we'll be good without it, maybe? Question mark? I don't know. We do have an exit up here. I don't remember where this pops out. Hi, guy. <laughs> Ploop. Just dead. Dead, sir. Did we actually... We might not have put our stat point in. I can check real quick. Inventory. No, we have our stat. I think we already got all of our skills set up. So on our... We're about to get our next level up. We were just getting devotion then. So grab those. Murder them. Deal with the fire boys. Yeah, I think Vital Essence just restores the yellow. Yeah, it just restores the yellow. It restores the constitution or whatever it's called. 
So map-wise, we're still in Foggy Bank. We didn't run across any of the other... We, we need to come down here and adventure through and see if we can find the other one of those... Other two of these guys. It's the Foggy Bank waypoint. Which I will gladly take. We'll kinda come, we're going to come back down this way and look for the other two of those guys. That's what I want to do, so that's what I'm going to do. Doing all the side quests in this can be a bit arduous, and I have a feeling, even before we end up beating the game with this character, we're probably going to skip over a couple of them. Hey, Bloodsworn Zealots, you guys are not very tough. Hey, a Ranger's Helm, sweet. I think we might already have that one, do we not? No, we don't, so we now have a Ranger's Helm. Yeah, I will be getting more crafting recipes. I do already have a good number of them, just because. But I'm not entirely sure... Yeah, let me in. I'm not entirely sure what the dropping requirements for are them are for them, and you get different ones from different types of um, factions and stuff like that. For example, if we go with a different faction on this character, we can end up getting different things. So vestments, yes. Uh, are those any better? No, those are all cold-oriented stuff. So let's go ahead and get more physique. We should probably get some cunning fairly soon, but before that, let's get this. Internal trauma over three seconds. 87 bleeding damage over three seconds. 8% slower enemy attack for five seconds. Sweet. So we have internal trauma damage. We have the physical damage with a boost to it by a percent. Then we also have just the big, just main hit. I think we want to go for more internal trauma damage. So let's see if that helps our damage output a bit. I don't know what our DPS is, and there is something over there. I'm not sure what it is. That worked out pretty good. That murdered them fairly well. What are you? What is that? Isaac! Isaac! Is he bound over there, or is this just... Sorry, that was a stupid joke. That was a really stupid joke, but I had to go for it. Seem to remember a place like this being too high level for us on our first playthrough. Maybe I'm thinking of a different location. But that's a shield, saw blade, that's a one-handed. And that is that is a better amulet, just like better than salt. Health regen per second and dual resist. Yeah. It's better than salt. How's it going, Isaac? There must be something I can do. Thank you, I will find it. So we need to find his hidden stash in the White Mire. I believe, if I remember correctly, that is on a... in a stump or something like that. And we should have, like, nothing else down here, do we? Nope. Okay. But you can just find it without him. I remember that being a thing. So you can, like, steal his stuff without ever talking to him. Then you just get the quest credit anyway. Which is kind of weird. I mean, it's a thing, but I'm fine with it. Kind of strange. Because a lot of games like this, they'll have they'll, they'll require you to actually have talked to the person first. So Foggy Bank. White Mire is going to be... We have up there left to explore. Although, yeah, that's White Mire Rift. We have up there left to explore, and we have all of this down here to explore, and all of that. So we do have quite a bit more in White Mire. This is Sodden Hollow. Does this go down into White Mire? Maybe. 